Welcome to Story Star Storytime with me, Sarah, from PBS Charlotte. Today, I'm very excited because I'm joined by AAA Therapeutic Farm Summer Camp. And we're going to be reading a story about, does anyone remember the character's name? Cat in the Hat. Cat in the Hat, yeah. that's right. And remember, did you see Cat in the Hat behind me? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So this is called, Oh, the Pets You Can Get. Will you raise a hand if you have a pet at home? Oh my goodness. Okay. Tell me what kind of pets you have. I have a dog. three guinea pigs, a dog, and a cat. Oh my goodness. I'm sister, so I basically have the same one. That's amazing. <gasps> Tell me what you have. A dog. A dog. Tell me what you have. A dog. A dog. That's right. And what do you have? I have a dog, too. We, we live together, so it's the same dog. Oh, that's right. And I've visited, and you also have other animals, right? Chickens, llamas, Chickens, and fish. Chickens, llamas, fish. That's so cool. I have a dog at my house, so I have a pet, too. <clears throat> I'm the cat in the hat. I love pets, as you see. You can meet lots of pets if you travel with me. We are off to the faraway land of Gerplets, where they know quite a lot about caring for pets. It's a great place to go for pet lovers like us. Pets are waiting to meet you, so jump on the bus. Look at all those animals. The first place in Gerplets we will visit today is the play with your pet park, where pets come to play. Dogs and puppies need exercise. They love to run. They chase balls and catch toys, make new friends and have fun. Kittens tumble in heaps and bat toys with their paws. Cats climb up on posts and hold tight with their claws. In Gerplets, they don't let any pets play with string. Pets can get tangled. That's not a good thing. Guinea pigs need to get lots of exercise, too. There are ramps to be climbed and tubes to run through. Rabbits hop all around and love to explore. They play soccer by pushing small balls on the floor. Birds go flying, their cages are left wide open. When they're tired of flying, they go back inside. Look at that. When the pets finish playing, they run down the street to the finer pet diner for something to eat. There's a lot on the menu, so each pet can find the food that for them is the very best kind. Mr. Finer serves rabbits a very fine lunch of veggies, fruit, hay, and some pellets to munch. Guinea pigs nibble veggies, fruit, grass, grain, and seeds. Clean water is something that every pet seeds. needs. No, do your, your guinea pigs don't eat seeds. Yeah, they're picky. Oh, they're picky eaters. <laughs> Mrs. Finer makes cat food that cats love to eat. She knows cats and kittens always like to eat meat. Our dog Scrunchy likes dog food, so here's what we do. Feed him dry food or wet food or mix up the two. Does your dog eat dry food or wet food? Dry. Dry food. My dog has dry food too. What about your I dog? Like dry food. Dry food, yeah. Our cat eats wet food. Your cat eats wet food. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't sense. have a cat. You don't have a cat? I don't have a cat either. Birds feed on pellets and fruit twice a day. It is served up to them on a small plastic tray. Pets want to make friends like you and like me. They want to be part of your whole family. With a cat or a dog, you may find it is true that the friend they want most to spend time with is you. Some pets get lonely and think it's more fun to live with a friend, so we got more than one. Sometimes I think of getting another dog so that my dog has someone to play with. Every pet that you get needs a nice place to rest. The Pet Beds and More store has only the best. Here's a beautiful bird cage. The best cage to buy is one that has room so your pet bird can fly. A dog might like sleeping on this cozy bed. Cats might like box, boxes or baskets instead. Guinea pigs like a cage, but they're glad it is not. Sitting right in the sunlight, they don't like to get hot. This cage for our rabbit is known as a hutch. It takes time to clean it, but not very much. I had a pet rabbit when I was a little kid, and we had a little hutch like that. Now my friends in Gerplets have just asked me to go be the host of the first Pets of Gerplets TV show. My first guest is Kitten. I gave him a hat. In one year, this kitten will turn into a cat. If you pet your cat gently and rub the soft fur, in a minute you might hear your cat start to purr. When you carry your kitten, we thought this was neat. Put one hand around him under its feet. Oh, that's a good way to carry a cat. We carry him under his butt. 
<laughs> yeah. Meet these puppies and dogs. They are glad to meet you. They are wonderful pets who are loyal and true. When I first got my puppy, I got a surprise. Some puppies grow up to be 10 times their size. Oh my yeah, I know. You need to train puppies when they make mistakes. Uh -huh. Understanding and patience are all that it takes. Did you have to train your dog? Yeah. Yeah, what are some things that you tell your dog? Be nice. Be nice. I say sit. Down. Yeah. yeah Stay. Dog. Yeah. Come. Come. Another Visit. one I say is go to bed. My dog will trot Visit. on over to its Nudge. bed. Visit. Yeah. Yeah. Those are some other things that you tell your dog. Yeah, I don't, that's I don't, cool. I don't tell my dog anything. <laughs> you don't. Now the next special guests I would like you to meet are these yellow canaries and sweet parakeets. Birds are colorful pets. They can whistle and sing, and your home will be filled with the music they sing. Try this trick with your bird. It is easy to do it. Hold your finger straight out. Your bird might fly to it. That's cool. Does anyone know anyone with pet birds? Mm, no. I do. You do? The pet store at Close to our house, we have a pet store with a talking parrot that we want to buy, so we, so we visit it sometimes. That's so cool. Parrots are it. awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's about guinea pigs. Don't you, you said you have two guinea pigs? Three. Three, oh my goodness. A mom and two babies. Aw, guinea pigs are sweet pets and they're easy to feed. If you don't have much space, they may be what you need. They're guinea pigs easy. like to hide in the grass or in hay. They eat all the time, about six hours a day. Guinea pigs like to get a warm bath with shampoo, dry them in a soft they towel, don't. then brush their fur too. They don't. Your guinea pigs don't like to get a they bath. They hate water. Yeah. I know my dog doesn't like to get a bath. But we do get he wicks himself. Yeah. <gasps> Meet Miss Fuzzy Finwinkle, the mayor of Gerpletz. She's an expert on how to have safe, healthy pets. Her pets are on leashes so they cannot stray. They stay close to her. They are safer that way. Her pets all wear tags with her name and address. Who do they belong to? Folks don't have to guess. Yeah, my dog wears a collar with a tag on, on him so that people know who he belongs to. Does your dog wear a collar? Our cat yes. doesn't. Yeah. Your cat doesn't. He used to. Yeah? Yeah, but he kept, keeps losing them when he goes to hunt outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's and hard to keep. at night he walks around and it had a bell and it winged and woke us up. Oh, so it was a little too loud. Yeah. That's a good idea though to have a bell around the collar so you always know where your animal is. When you care for your pets, there's a lot you can do to keep your pets healthy and you healthy too. Put detergent up high so your pets can't get to it. A house plant goes where your pets won't try to chew it. We had to do that at our house when my dog was a little puppy. He tried to eat all our house plants, so we had to put them up high. Keep your toilet lid closed so your pets do not think that the water inside is for them to drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would not and be very hand. good. There are people with pets, I am sorry to say, who uh, for all kinds of reasons must give them away. They go to pet shelters right here in Gerpletz. There's a shelter that's full of all kinds of nice pets. So if you want a pet, here's what you can do. Get a pet from a shelter to take home with you. Yeah. It's kind of nice to do that, isn't it? I know getting a pet is quite a big thing to do. There are questions to answer, and here are a few. Do you have enough space for a pet of this size? Will he have room to play? Will she get exercise? I don't think I could have a pet quite that big in my house. Because my house is pretty small. Almost that big. Really? But you have a good dog but you have cake. Yeah. Do you have enough time for your pet every day? Who will care for your pet if you must go away? Do you have a place where, who, or someone who can take care of your animals if you have to leave yeah, on vacation? Yeah, and now your aunt. Yeah, sometimes Katie. you have family. Yeah, and there are also um, like daycares for your animals if you need them to go somewhere. <clears throat> now you may just decide after meeting these pets that you are not ready to get a pet yet. But if you do get one, please don't give it away. Close to you is the one place your pets want to stay. Take your time to decide so you know from the start you can keep it for life in your home and your heart. We didn't keep Murphy for um, our life. Yeah. He was we, limping. Yeah, and he had a hole. And when we were young, Rowan and me, 
and sometimes that was, we would run after Morphe. That was our old dog. And we name. would yell him, yeah. Mer- get that cookie. <laughs> and chase oh, him around the Thank backyard. you so much for reading this book with me. This was so fun. I'd like to hear about all of your pets. All, all and remember, feet. the greatest story ever told is your story because your story matters. Thanks for watching Story Star Storytime with Sarah. See you next time.